before we go, uh, I do want to talk about your Ashrai background at some point. Like oh. that's whole another. I know you have amazing photographs, an amazing background, and that's definitely something. Yeah, to I'd talk love about. to. I'd love to do that. Yeah, my dad was a. My dad was a Qashqai, and the Qashqai tribe was very meaningful and very impactful in our life. We grew up with this wonderful tribal culture, and um, it was just very weird and very bizarre and very... They're in the south, and they migrate, right? They yeah, they're basically, uh, they, they basically are, their base is Shiraz. Yeah. And um, they... I mean, they I know they've had to not migrate because of structural... No. No, they still they still do it. Um, it's a very uh, wow. they, uh, even the Iranian government now um, doesn't really stop them because the consequences aren't really uh, they they're kind of like a wow. little uh, short tempered, and uh -huh. um, but um, <laughs> yeah the, no. the yeah the Qashqais are um, a tribe uh, a, a nomadic tribe in Iran and um, they're they are um, sort of um, symbiotic with the Bakhtiari tribe. And yes. also the Lor, the, the Lor tribe, the L-O-R. Uh -huh. They're kind of the same, but they have different um, sort of cultural traits and traditions. Uh, the yeah, their clothing is different too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they have different outfits on. Their and different designs. Things. Yeah, but they kind of are blended together. And But that um, that, that hat, the Qashqai hat is like... Yeah, um, that, uh, that, that dog-eared hat that they have. Yes. Um, that is... Um, that's a functional, uh, there's a functional design for that. Um, but it is kind of like their cowboy hat, right? Yeah. And, um, uh, and so, yeah, they were just a wonderful uh, part of my life growing up in Iran. I'm still in touch with all my cousins. Um, actually, one of them, uh, when, we, when we really talk about this one day, they, my one of my cousins has a showcase where the only way I can explain it, it's kind of like the um, Buffalo Bill show that used to go around the country here oh they, i i smell another comic yeah they used to they used to put on these uh buffalo bill shows right wild bill hook uh -huh. and they'd had a couple of the indian chiefs and they would pretend that the indians are attacking the cowboys and the cowboys would then defend the, the wagon train and they would go into these stadiums and put on these shows right so my cousin in iran does the same kind of thing it's kind of like Come spend the day with the Qashqai tribe. And then so he has this whole showcase. And so he has a stage and um, it's out in the country and you go park and you get to dress up like the Qashqai and you get to have the food. It's like, it's an, wonderful. Ex it's like an experience. <laughs> I know. And that's his job now. He made, he came up with this idea and I said, dude, this is the greatest idea. So it he, really is. So all the people in, so all the city folk in Iran, the Tehranis and all the people, it's a yeah, pay for a day. They pay, they pay money and they go down and you can, you can do it for a day. You can do it for three days and you can do it. For I wish weeks. we had that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, you, uh, the, it's, it's an immersive. But you have the real thing, but yeah, it's, it's an immersive experience and you, there's a, there's a, so you then go down you change your clothes and you're, you're in the outfits and then you spend the day as a, it's almost like a, you know, like a Renaissance type fair thing. And, uh, Absolutely. All, That's exactly this, what it is. Yeah, there's role play. There's a hunt that you go on that doesn't actually kill animals. But then, yeah. um, uh, and then you come back from the hunt, and then uh, there's a, a migration uh, 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 scene in which the tribe the, the tribe moves from one uh, pasture land to another, and then there's a wedding, and um, during the three days or the five days, there's all the food and just the whole wow. Scene. Yeah. And what's interesting is all these people from Tehran and the cities and or in the major cities in Iran, they're like like lined up to come and experience this. So for them, it's like a way for them to experience the folklore of the Rashid like Rashid. urban cowboy. <laughs> yeah. So they just all are just like so uh, into it. Or no, wait, and, city uh, slickers. Yes, exactly. It's like a dude ranch <laughs> for Ashkai. 